Yes. Is that your first Jackie Yes. <laughs> first time. Yes. Do you like the Hallmark Channel? Not really. Okay. No, oh, I love you. I love you even more. Oh. No. Not a big fan of the Hallmark. Oh, yeah. Oh, you. thank you. I love you. I love you. That's, that's tough having your first adjustment. Polymyositis is what it was. Okay. Um, that diagnosis is not there. So now it's just a matter of um, building. Any cause for that? What were they? Uh, no, not really. Just who knows? Just yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And how long? When did that start? When that started actually back in 2001. Back in 01. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so. What what your current you're taking Fosamax? What else? What other, what other treatments are you going through right now? And just um, five milligrams of prednisone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. This happened actually in my thirties. I want to say. Okay. Thirties, uh, and um, I just think I was working a lot. Of course, I had a salon, all this stuff, just moving quite a bit, and um, it just kind of like set in in a sense. You okay. know, um, started to get you know weak, but. Um, that happened in 2000, and then in 2002, I was back on my feet. I was still moving again, you know, really good, and then... But no um, trauma, nothing that... No you trauma, know, no. So I'm curious, because we don't have any... Under, nobody's given an explanation for why this even started mm -hmm. at 31, right? As far as you can tell, right? Nobody's given... No, not, no, not really. Like, uh... Like nothing trauma. Nobody trauma said why this, how this happened, why your body got weak. And no, I, okay, when I was pregnant with my daughter, a test came back and said, oh, you could possibly have that, but everything was good. What I believe is that the, the brain through the spinal cord communicates to your body. Mm -hmm. And so when the spinal column is inflamed or bruised, mm -hmm. then the, 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 the leg has no intelligence. If the muscles in your leg aren't getting a clear communication right. from your brain mm -hmm. through the conduit of your spinal column, then the legs don't function properly. Okay. Weakness is a common symptom when there's nerve pressure, mm -hmm. disc injury, you know, your 30s is, is sort of the prime time for bulging discs mm -hmm. and, and if you only can really see them on MRI and then really we only can really see them with a weight-bearing MRI. So sometimes we did a laying down picture like a CAT scan or an right. MRI and we miss it, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate because we're like, oh yeah, you're fine. Mm -hmm. I had a lady the other day, you're good. And I had her take a seated picture and we could see the extent of yeah, what was going on. So if they take laying down pictures, it's really doing you a, a disservice. Okay. The muscles have are about on the lowest part of the totem pole mm -hmm. of, you know, saying they don't tell anybody what to do. When a muscle starts acting haywire, it's the nervous system that controls it. Right. When you were growing inside your mom's womb, the first thing that formed, what do you think? So you have a clump of cells. What do you think the first thing that forms when you're... Your spine? Very spine? good. So your nervous system, your, right. ner your nervous okay. system, which is housed in your spinal okay. column, is the first thing that forms. Okay. You don't have a heart. You don't have a kidney. The okay. first thing that forms is called the embryonic spinal cord, oh. called a notochord. Okay. And then from that, legs, Got you. organs. So the nervous system forms, forms first. And so the muscle is a pawn of the nervous system. Okay. There are two attributes for the health of your spine. One, the alignment, and one, the mobility. Okay. So. The first aspect I try to check out is how supple is your spine. Mm -hmm. If it's super tight, then the spine's not very healthy. Right. Tell me what they did there. What do they do? Um, uh, just you know, give you a weight, do it thirty times. You know, just trying to strengthen you. Three, yeah. Um, maybe a ball in the knees. You know, squeeze. Have uh, you seen improvement in strength, or has it been the same, or do you feel like it's made a difference, or no? Well, I think it does. You know, it does, but it's you know, it's just very redundant you know okay um, I think it has to go to another level after a while see if it, if it was the extremity it would take care of it to me if it was a leg problem mm -hmm. like some people have injuries to their limbs mm -hmm. and they need physical therapy on right, the limb right. to repair the limb right right but if it's not the limb and it's your spinal column then there'll be little to you know not much improvement right. because really the muscle isn't getting what it needs from the nerves right that leave your back mm -hmm. so the weakness is really neurological, mm -hmm. and we have to try to first address that. Oh, and fine. exhale for me. Deep breath in. Exhale for me. Deep breath in. Exhale for me. Come on, stay there for me. Stay there. Okay, okay I'm going to go gentle. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Relax. Here we go. 
Very good. Very easy. Same thing. Here we go. There we go. You all right? Okay. Yes. Is that your first neck adjustment? Yes. First time. <laughs> yes. When I'm feeling your neck, there are certain parts of your neck that feel pretty tight, and it's suspicious. It's going, okay, if you're super tight, then there must be a mm -hmm. super loose one. And if, if an area doesn't move properly, the area that doesn't move actually doesn't hurt. It's another area that has to make up for that lack of motion, mm -hmm. and then that area gets damaged. Okay. Very good. You're doing great. Thank you. So the muscles are kind of like hair. They're supposed to be, well, how about this? They're not supposed to be tangled. Okay. <laughs> they should be, I should be able to run my, you know, thumb across them and not get, right. not feel knots and nothing should catch. When we're born, they're all very organized. They're all very lined up. And mm -hmm. when we have injuries, they tear and then they heal disorganized. Mm -hmm. and we have a special word for those tears in the healing. We call it scar tissue, right? Okay. So a scar means that it's not the original tissue anymore. Feel a little tangled mm, up here? I do. It doesn't, doesn't feel probably the most wonderful to have this <laughs> massaged. So this is why I don't, I, do. I don't make a lot of friends the first few visits because <laughs> you know, you're taking something that isn't, hasn't been moving and now we're asking it to move. So if I'm overwhelming you, please let me know. I'm not gonna. No, you're good, okay. but, I, but I, I know what you're feeling. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> When an area is very tangled, it's cut off its own circulation because of the oh. kind of like a ball of yarn. It's like mm -hmm. all knotted up, and so it's not getting good oxygen. And what the gua sha does is it pushes blood with oxygen in it into those areas. And if there's a lot of lactic acid in the tissue, you'll see it as a little mark. That's what you might see on some of my videos. Mm -hmm. You see the marks on people's skin, and that's mm -hmm. the that's the lactic acid or cellular exhaust that builds up along the spine that can cause that dis what do we say dysfunction or okay. miscommunication between the nervous system and the body mm -hmm. so the brain houses all intelligence in your skull and it has to be has to be travel through these conduits out to your body so for instance the thyroid has no intelligence the heart has no intelligence the brain has to communicate it to those organs through your oh, nervous wow. system. Mm -hmm. And if alongside your spinal column, I, I the lay term I put is just, it's dirty, <laughs> but it, it means that there's soreness, mm -hmm. lactic acid mm -hmm. from mobility or alignment. And how does that feel? Fine. Feels good. Yeah, yeah it, should, it does. Actually, okay. I, I, I enjoy my, you know, <laughs> it feels soothing to be, yes. to be cleaned. It's like a internal washing of the tissue. Um, there we go. Yeah, right there, there's just some tangle in there. Good, that's good to see right there. You see that right, right here? Yeah. That section right there. Okay. So the back is a little unlevel, and what this generally means is that if this is unlevel, yeah. then the lower back gets used almost like a wobble in a wheel. Mm -hmm. The oh. wheel's not rotating in a balanced fashion, and so the lower back has a wobble to it that then causes asymmetrical you know, pressure on the nerves. Okay. We want this to be balanced up here. Right up here, this is pretty obvious. This left side mm -hmm. needs to be level. The right side's already pretty low. Can you feel that difference? I can, I can feel it, mm -hmm. yeah. And so we wanna, it's like a drawer that's crooked kind of idea. It's not, I almost wanna level the drawer mm -hmm. first so that we can close it. This has to be leveled. Okay. And uh, you'll, you know, Dr. Ed, I think you rub the left side of my back a lot longer than the right <laughs> side. And the answer's correct because this is not on symmetrically. Right. And, uh, these are the roots of your neck right here. Oh boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. That almost can hear that. I can hear it. Yeah. So there's a. These are the anchors of your neck. Okay. This is usually the most suspicious spot right there. Right there. Yeah. You feel that? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is. So the end of your spinal cord is actually right here at L1. We okay. Call it, 
you know, what are you talking about? I thought the spinal cord goes down to my tailbone. Right. Well, it becomes a, doesn't, it's not a cord anymore. It becomes individual cables right here. And so the nerve that exits down here okay. actually starts up here. Oh. Versus in the, in, up here, the nerve that exits here actually forms right there. And so you can get pressure on the nerves down your leg because okay. inside the spinal column, the actual nerve, the cord ends at L1, l first lumbar, anyway. Okay. And then when I think about the spine, I'm going to quiz you a little bit here and see if I, Where do you think the spinal cord? So the spinal cord is an extension of your brain. It houses all the material that's going to go to your whole body. Okay. And it starts up here, off your brain, and then it goes down to your tailbone like we talked about. Well, L1 and then becomes individual nerves. Where do you think the spinal cord is the largest in terms of its size? Right here, very good, yeah, at the top, right? So the top, it's the largest in size. And by t like, like cars, they get off the highway, and by the time you get down here, there's not too many cars left on the highway, right? Mm -hmm. And Everything's a car analogy. <laughs> well, right, so you start with all the cars, and then as you keep going down the road, everybody's getting off, and then by the time you get down here, the spinal cord is actually relatively small relative to its giant size up in the neck. Okay, and so the bones now, where do you think the actual bony canal, so the bones are bigger down here. Right? The bones in your neck, obviously that's why we bigger bones down here because they're supposed to hold more weight than the bones in your neck are supposed to hold less weight, right? So we have an inversion here. We have the largest bones, the largest canal, with the smallest spinal cord in the lower back. Wow. Up here we have very little tolerance. The canal and the cord are very snug in there. Give me the cliff notes. What's your point here, Ed? It means that you had to beat this up for quite a while oh. to get this. Right there. Yep, I feel it. All right, we'll come back in a minute. Let's take a break. Adjusted since I was a baby, so I thought it was normal as breathing. I thought everybody had a chiropractor. Oh, no. As a father. And, no. So when I, when I hear that you haven't been adjusted before, it's like it gives me a little bit of a. What do you mean? What do you mean? You haven't been adjusted. How have you been this far? Well, Ed, it's been, it's been tough. It's been a struggle. Okay. okay. And, I, and I get it. I'm just saying that's, that's to me the. If we're not given a more specific reason elsewhere, then the only thing left is your spine. Right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So rigid in here, and now you've lost some of your flexibility. That's what I'm. It's mainly what I'm feeling here in your back. Okay. I understand the legs. There's weakness, but you know, this is pretty powerful in here. That's great to mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm.
She's got it buried. I can feel it. It's just you got it. She got it. You got it. So you feel that? You got yes, it so I fortified. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. Feel that. Mm-hmm. It's just so guarded. So this is right at the beginning of the conduit to the nerves oh. that give you strength in your leg. Really. So having any soreness or just rigidity in here definitely lends suspicion to you know, how much of this is because the muscles aren't getting what they're supposed to get. The nerve right. can actually controls the you know the healing energy to the muscles and it's like a a plant not getting any sunlight you know the plant okay. will just die. Right. Are you comparing my leg to a plant? Yes I am. <laughs> so. Yeah shoulder blade is pretty Sore, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, there's there's monsters that we're gonna start. <laughs> Hello, is anybody here? <laughs> the mobility of your joints is what powers the self-cleaning machinery. It's supposed to be like a, a Roomba, you know, vacuum. Uh -huh. You know, it's supposed to be an automated self-cleaning machine, but right. when we have injuries or posture or life and sedentary, uh -huh. our back gets stiff and that automatic cleaning shuts down. By just working on you, we're manually cleaning it. The idea is to teach you how to do things at home so you can start getting the automatic cleaning working. Right. And that ultimately has to do with stretching, arching back, counter stretching. Okay. You know, some level of adjustments and massage to make sure that you can continue stretching. If your back is super tight, you can't stretch safely. Mm -hmm. Feel that doesn't exist over here? It doesn't. Oh, no, right. It it's about as obvious as can be. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, hello. Yeah, right there. It's right there. Yeah. Who, put, who put this lump? It's like I'm just driving my... Oh, back to cars. It's like I'm driving a car. All of a sudden, there's a speed bump on the highway. Like, right. I'm 70 miles an hour down the highway. Boom, 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 boom. Right, who the, exactly. Who the heck put that there? Yeah, this, is yeah. a high, this is a highway. You understand? Alongside yeah. your spinal column is a highway. Yeah. It's a neurological highway. And... So the cars aren't going to travel too quickly. Oh no! You know things aren't going to be transmitted properly through this channel. Some of your hobbies? What do you like to do outside of work, or what do you, movies? Uh, yeah, shows, movies, or what do you? Oh yes, definitely movies. Okay, okay. Definitely movies. Okay. Any shows or anything you watch right now? Anything? Oh, uh, I love just action-packed movies. Oh, action! Okay. Yeah. Hang out with Carl a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get off the Hallmark Channel. Yeah. <laughs> do you like the Hallmark Channel? Not really. Okay. Oh, I love you. I love you even more. Oh, no. Not a big fan of the Hallmark. No. <laughs> And of course, tomorrow morning, Ed, I think I'm a little sore in that area. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Well, I did go in there and clean it up, so. Yeah. I made it do a workout and. I want to try to loosen this if we can. I'm going to okay. try to see at the end. We're going to put it on our side. And we're going to try to adjust this joint. I wanted to sort of assess how happy or upset this joint was to be touched before I tried to adjust it. Okay. So I'm going to try that side posture adjustment in a minute, but I want to learn it yet.
big guy. Nice sorry. Where do these doors go? <laughs> But you just relax. Oh, 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 okay. You okay? Yes. All right. So try to open up that lower back a little bit. Okay. I got you. You're not gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> I got her. I got you. All right. I'm just gonna breathe for a second. We're gonna stretch. Okay. There we go. There you go. Breathe. Breathe. Mm hmm. Kind of right in here. We're just trying to. Mm -hmm. Stretch. There you go. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Exhale. You're not gonna fall, I promise. Okay. Nobody's falls. There we go. There you go. There it is. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. Just tight. The joints haven't nobody's gone through these joints before, you understand, and clean right. them. And they just have gotten all tight on us. I promise I won't fall, I promise. Okay, okay. okay, I got your shoulder. You okay, you okay? okay yeah. Exhale. Oh, here it is. All right, you okay? Yes. You did good, you did good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same thing, breathe. I got you. There we go. Good, you good, you good. Okay. There we go. All right. I got you. Go ahead and tilt. Head a little bit to the right. That's it. Right. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Same thing. A little bit to the right for me. Uh huh. That's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> First time I did. Yeah. I got you. You're okay. Right there. A little bit to the left, yeah. Woo! Yep, yep. Good. <laughs> okay, I heard that. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I think we all heard that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I you know, it's I I hope I mean, when you when you get back I know nobody really does what I do, but I would I would encourage you to mm -hmm. Find somebody to do some soft tissue work and maybe somebody that can find that lump on mm -hmm. that right side and mm -hmm. see if we can, you know, if it's something that we can help you with. To me, you would know pretty soon mm -hmm. if it shouldn't be something that takes years. You know what I'm saying? You would know within a handful of treatments, mm -hmm. cleaning the spine, mm -hmm. working on that lump, mm -hmm. getting the joints working. And, you know, if that's something that's getting the mm -hmm. muscles stronger mm -hmm. or if we got to search elsewhere or you know what to do acupuncture or other treatments that are available you know but I'm just saying I I definitely have a lot of things that are suspicious in your back yeah the back is tight nobody's gone in there and worked on it and you know it's usually a handful of treatments we have a pretty good idea of sure. mm -hmm. this is something that's mm -hmm. gonna help me the eventual goal is stretching but I don't want to I really wouldn't recommend you to stretch until we get you a little softer than where you're at mm -hmm. so Okay. Based on how each person is, sometimes I'll throw them right on the stretches. Well, you put that person right on the stretches. Why don't you put me? Well, I want to get you a little looser, and then and then the the we start with a roller. You might see on some of my videos I have people arching back, right. and then you start yes. in here, mm -hmm. and we're arching back. And what we're doing is we're trying to counter stretch the time mm -hmm. that we're bent forward. Mm -hmm. We take it and arch you back. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you. That's, that's tough having your first adjustment. I'm expecting some good stuff. So all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Okay, Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.